I cannot believe Ogro actually struggled last episode fighting that insect dude. He seemed like he wasn't that strong, but there's this new group of people. I actually forgot their names. I think his name was Filippo or something, but they had like a faction name, right? They're supposed to be like pretty strong. I think there's also a distinction between like what a hero and some other being is. I should have paid a lot more attention, but hey, we kind of got away. The insect guy ran away just completely naked. This probably means that Ogro will train more and then be able to evolve and then we'll fight them again and this time we'll just completely dump on them. Let's begin today's reaction. This is a funeral. <coughs> what is going on, girl? Oh, Nisa. Hopeful. We might have gotten the like she might be the most fucking down bad. That is so fucked up. How do, how are you going to like this is the interesting before the opening plays? So the interesting was like salute to our fallen comrades. Like five seconds. Alright, skip. And then you just have this girl thirsting over you. And like that's the interesting. Pretty much perfectly summarizes what remonster is, honestly. Reorganization of our entire base. Okay, we have a healer, Hobji. Fermented food. Fermented. Can she use a ghoul now? I don't know how I feel about Hofu, bro. She just eats fucking rotting zombies and now she's become a ghoul. You would still would do that? She's probably the one per person that if you, you know, made love to, you, you'd be considered a necrophiliac even though she's living. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> BL. Yaoi. Yup. Non-facial eyes. She got a lot of eyes. Sorry, bro. I'm... Yeah, I see that illusory magic. I'm sorry. It's a little scary to me. She basically has like clairvoyance. Hopefu, Gofu, Hobme, Dodome, Hobji, Seiji, and we still have Gobji still alive, still thrusting. Gofu. He changed the Fu and Gofu to mean rotten. Okay. Goji okay. night. Reorganization. Everyone's powering up. Thanks to Ogro. So, <laughs> What is his face? What the the cobalt is. He removed the dog eyes! They removed the dog eyes, dude! <laughs> Become a human, basically! More ferocious, yeah, sure. Maybe... Maybe he has a dog suit, bro. All the cobalt are so weak. Such weak, bro. Such otaki. True names or special names that individuals of certain levels are granted. So actual mechanics in this evolution game. Enemy learns your true name. They can cast certain spells like curses on you. What the fuck? Never tell people your true name then. Ogro is not his true name. Grants. Who grants those? Good question. The true names. Uh, some kind of god of this world? Some kind of system? Like, who runs this world? I don't know. Drug him. They're gonna stick around though. Stockholm Syndrome. Syndrome. Wow, what a benevolent lord. They, they, this only, he only says this so that the author and like the fan base has some kind of like protection, right? They're gonna say, no, 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 no. Ogro doesn't keep the people here. He lets them, 
you know, leave as they choose or stay as they choose. It's like, you know, they, they can't really get upset or remonster for this motherfucker. He just wanted to fight a girl. And he's like, yeah, I bet I could take Dampier. There's no way he could take Dampier. Dampier is like the most rarest of evolution trees too right now, right? And then Ogro steps up and is like, wait, 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 I didn't actually mean it. Oh my god, dude. That's an actual fucking monkey right beside them too. <laughs> Time to put them in their place. Oh, Flame Lord. Gale Lord. The fuck is an orb? <laughs> Gomji straight up hard carries this show, dude. Cause like I don't really care too much about the combat in this show. I just care about the sussy shit that the goblin's doing. Gobji just like whenever he's there, you know it's gonna be a goaded fucking moment. Gobji, what are you doing? So you try to peek in there to get a get a good scene, and then and then puts his head in her ass. What was the point of this, old man? You were just trying to get a good spot and then you did this for no fucking reason. You had a good sight. You could see everything. Then you buried your head in her fucking ass. <laughs> Orb weapons. Just a little bit of sexual harassment, right? Just a little bit. Orb sounds OP. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have to heal them on top of that. Gumbut the nose to up, huh? Hi. Monkey. Me take out care. You see that ook? <laughs> no. <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> That's gotta be the most scuffed fucking bounce I've ever fucking seen, bro. <laughs> Oh, it was a sneak attack that he knew and just took it. Got it. Oh, there's a half down here? This dude? Oh! <laughs> Never make a move on the big boss's girl, bro. I mean, I guess you have some balls to do such a thing, but like, you should have known about the consequences. <laughs> And then fuck him up again. Free them from slavery, guys. We're such benevolent beings. Oh, it's him again. <laughs> should now get on him and fuck him up just like how Ogro fucked him up before. How funny would it be if Dami starts to fuck him up for making move to Ogro too? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I still think it would be funnier if Dami is the one that fucked him up here. And then we healed him up immediately after that. So like, oh, oh, I love this abuse more of blood, please. <laughs> so our place is just getting bigger. Crafting is going good. Battle's going good. Great. I feel like that's gotta be racist, bro. I feel like that's, 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 that's the same thing as saying Asian people are good at math. I mean, they are. <laughs> that's like a positive stereotype, I guess. But like, in every isekai, it's like, yep, dwarves, what are they good at? Smithing. I feel like that's gotta be a little bit racist, bro. <laughs> you just assume that shit. And every isekai, dude, the dwarves are always just crafting shit. What if they don't want to craft, man? 
What if they want to do something else? Naka yoku shite kunmai. Ore wa kino no tatakai de ta ability. Synthesis. Orb. Okay, so he can do orb attacks too now. You can just do that? Sure. Bro's fucking in Rimuru now. Like the whole thing of like, you know, taking away degenerate from, you know, Shizu and then making it into synthesis and degenerate and then having those two things and just making shit up like this dude, this dude doing the same fucking shit. Oh, sunlight to damage to you know, I think that. Oh! <laughs> Experimenting gone wrong. Mm. Are we gonna have a sussy scene? There's a lot of girls right now, and he's tired right now. They need to relieve him of the stress. What's gonna happen? There's a lot of girls right now. Oh, no, nothing, nothing. Okay, nothing. Our cave is also getting bigger. Cool. Who is this girl, bro? Oh my god. A service to our elven allies. Effective for fatigue, stress, general health. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even have a white tiger. <laughs> okay, the 86 is just abusing them, sure. That was quick as fuck. Weapon, the dwarves. What's, what's the point of these weapons? Because like, we have like these like legendary relics, like the red spear. Like, Is this weapon going to be able to compete on that level? It's her again! Oh my god, that was the episode where we learned triple thrust. And uh, libido. What the fuck kind of scene is this? That's a pretty creative way of doing fan service because like they can't just show just Ogro clapping this dry ass cheek. So if they can just do like a fun little intermission scene like this, like you know, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Had a bit of fun. Don't tell Dami. <laughs> let Gobji get some action, please. Please let Gobji get some action. <laughs> Oh, Mugiwara. Mugiwara no Ogro. Oh, what's that? We are an actual prostitute. Bro. The Dryad came to give us this in the exchange. For, like, the goods was some, some Ogro dick, bro. Ogro is a gigolo. It, it's an actual gigolo. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's a male, <laughs> it's a male escort gigolo. Uh, off topic, but uh, if you have a chance, there's an old dumbass movie by Rob Schneider called Bruce Bigelow, the European gigolo or something. It's so stupid. The movie is about a male gigolo. It, it, just, just go watch it if you have some fun. It's, 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 it's hilarious. <laughs> Right. Yeah, it's almost like uh, he's the first time. I'm uh, sorry, he's the main character. Farming? It ain't much, but it's honest work. We're, we're, they're not hostages, they're not prisoners. See, our prisoners were released. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the one time we had those elves that we fucking stole from the elf village and then we had to t make tournaments like dark elves like visually to lie to the elf king when he showed up. <laughs> These dudes seem <laughs> mind controlled by dummy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fucking OP. Banquet! Party time. Oh. Oh my goodness. Dub friendship. Dub friendship. 
そなたのおかげでそれはかないこうしてその日を The soundtrack is beautiful though The souls that's like dead that's like going to rest in peace Yeah, imagine we like accidentally like kept him hostage or some shit in our cave. Like he's one of the fucking L. No, I doubt it. I doubt it. We probably have never met him. Spirit stone? What the fuck was that happening? She's even named them. She does. Does he get super OP? <laughs> Ow, bro, my key. Ah. Gravity control? That sounds fucking OP. Gravity control. Bro is just playing Lego now. Crab monster anti sun. Skeleton centipede. Come on, get on. Come on. <laughs> We're taking it to the human village. If we show up to a human village riding this thing while a bunch of humans is on this thing, I don't know. People are going to jump to the wrong conclusion. What a good guy. See, no one is stuck here, guys. That's the thing. You know, people are like, oh, this show is so bad. You know, the goblins are stealing women and keeping them prisoners. No, no. No, old girl lets them go. He says, hey, I'm not keeping you here. You guys can come and go as you wish. Someone stop Goji from entering the hospital. Oh no, what is Goji going to be doing when the elves are here? Oh, oh my god, what is going on? Oh my god, what is going on? She really doesn't want to go home. <laughs> they all want to stay. Okay, they're going to be going to be going to be going to be going to Okay. Next day. No, 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 party time, party time. Yeah, we are. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. I feel like as soon as we get near the human town, we're gonna start war. So <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. しんしてステージ that's the episode. Next episode should be pretty interesting. Today's episode was a lot of setup, but honestly, I don't really watch this show for like super hype action. Just like dumb moments like this when like, you know, the guy was thirsting over Dami and then, and then suddenly Ogre beats him up. Then we feed him blood and he starts thirsting over us and he starts beating them up. Moments like this is also fun too. Dryad had a nice comeback today. We had to get some seeds, right? To make it even better. So the war is over and we're basically taking all the people that we've taken before and sending them back, even though they don't want to go back. And we're gonna show up on this fucking steel centipede thing. I don't think that the humans are gonna treat us too kindly. Hopefully next episode, they start some shit because they see like, like, I don't know. What would people think that if a bunch of like ogres uh, were traveling on this thing with a bunch of humans on board? 
I think that they would be willing to jump the gun and jump to the wrong conclusion. Maybe this is a start for like new set of conflict. I don't really know. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.